Let's Get Down to Business is presented by Bravo, the marketing arm of Ash Brokerage Corporation, the practice enhancement company. All this week, it's our tribute to Life Insurance Awareness Month. And on today's show, our tribute to the life insurance industry. And with me today is our consumer reporter, Cassie Rohde. Hi, everyone. I'm Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and contributing author to Backroom Technician. Let's get down to business. Well, welcome, everyone. And welcome to the show again, Cassie, a whole week. How are you doing? Good. Wow. You know, you go from behind the computer screen the, you know, doing all your online consumerism and coming in front of a camera, it's a little different, isn't it? It is. It is. It's a little shocking because people, so everybody's different and you're going, you're actually going to Toastmasters and things like that to kind of learn what's going on, right? Is it helping? Yeah. yeah. Well, I haven't started yet. Oh, so you're just on the front end. Well, I, I welcome you to public speaking. It is the number one fear in America. <laughs> By the way, we're going to look at a clip from one of our big organizations from LIMRA, I think you're going to enjoy it because it's statistical and it brings up a lot of facts that I think you can use to support the way you feel about selling life insurance and annuities in the U.S. The financial crisis has changed our world. Headlines announce bailouts, layoffs, a declining stock market, and stimulus programs. Consumer trust and confidence in financial institutions is at an all-time low and they are turning to companies for more information and continued reassurance. Now more than ever, our industry must communicate our value. Simply put, no other industry provides Americans, the economy and society, the unique value we offer. We employ over 1.2 million people nationwide and pay salaries and benefits equal to more than $33 billion. 79% of all U.S. households own life insurance, and there is almost $20 trillion of life insurance in force. There is more. Here are a few highlights from Limra's Facts of Life and Annuities, spotlighting some of the significant economic benefits our industry provides. They are all $126 billion. These are the $2,007 our industry paid out in annuity benefits and life insurance death benefits. Beneficiaries received $56 billion in death benefits to support their families or businesses in 2007. What is our industry's investment in the economy? We hold 
$324 billion in commercial and residential property loans. Life insurers are one of the largest sources of capital in the nation, investing over $4.3 trillion in the U.S. economy. We can be proud that our industry has never missed paying a death benefit. Policyholders can rely on our guarantees and ensure their promises to beneficiaries and loved ones are fulfilled. Now is the time to communicate, share, and build trust. Our products have a direct impact on the financial security of families and businesses. Annuity owners cannot outlive a lifetime of income and life insurance allows a family to pass along a legacy to children or a charity or helps it to survive the untimely death of a wage earner or stay-at-home parent. Our industry brings significant value to Americans. When we come back from the break, we're going to feature a third-party testimonial from family survivors of the Twin Towers attack in our tribute to 9-11. And don't forget, you can request all our show's documents and use sample examples from Backroom Technician at ashbrokerage.com. And remember, you can sign up for your own 30-day free trial offer from Backroom Technician. Just go out to their site, www.brtnow.com forward slash trial sign up dot ASPX. We'll be right back after the break. Take a close look at your hard-earned dollar. How do you think your money's doing? Are you keeping an eye on it? Is it protected from taxes, inflation, and market risk? Over time, those Washingtons could become Franklins. With tax-advantaged indexed universal life, from one of the largest distributors of indexed universal life, Ash Brokerage. back. I'm Steve Savant with Cassie Rohde. And remember, you can watch all the episodes of Let's Get Down to Business, including my weekly consumer show, Steve Savant's Money, the name of the game, right at ashbrokerage.com. And just click on the show logo when you get to our homepage. Click on it, it'll take you right to our landing page. And just a heads up, before moving forward with any of the ideas you hear on our show, always consult your tax advisor or legal counsel, as well as your broker-dealer compliance officer. Well, let's get down to business. In a minute, we're going to feature a clip from the family survivors of the Twin Towers attack in our tribute to 9-11. And just a little heads up, remember, so many carriers, insurance carriers, did not require evidence of death when 3,000 plus people perished in the Twin Towers. That's a real tribute to our industry. I want you to watch this kind of heart-wrenching idea called The Heart Matters. I was in the fortunate or unfortunate position, depending on how you look at it, of having some 9-11 victims. And I actually ended up doing an interview with the, the surviving spouse. And we both remembered that day to a word the same way. But here's what happened in that room. I walked in that room and there's 200 people there for a memorial service and the door gets closed and it's just her and me. And her question to me was simple. Am I going to be okay? Well, in our world, you better have the right answer. And that has nothing to do with what you sold. It has to do with how much you cared. That's really what we do. And that relationship is what drives me. The ability to make a difference and have a legacy that goes beyond just a day-to-day -day job. Because that's really what we do. We try to help people recover from the unexpected. I have been there emotionally for my children because I'm not consumed with worry about how am I going to take care of them? How am I going to afford to keep a home? I, you know, I, I'm just, I feel like I, I, I'm doing the mothering that I'm supposed to do, as opposed to being the worry ward that I could have been. It's the thing that the life insurance was meant to do. That, that's the whole purpose of it. She says, do you know that you've got a death benefit on this policy? 
I said, oh, that can't be right. This is my policy. I'm not the one that died, he died. It's not his policy. And she says, no, I checked. I went and checked with my supervisor before calling you because I wanted to make sure before I told you this. And I kept saying, how? And she said, well, it's something your broker did. It felt like a miracle. I don't know how else to describe it. It felt like a miracle. It wasn't a lot of money as these things go, but it saved my house and it saved me. We connected immediately. I could tell that, yes, this is somebody that I want to invite into my home and to sit down and talk about my life and my husband's life and our family and that type of thing. He came in, um, no pad, no paper, no pen, just sat down and we talked. We had a conversation. Right now we feel tremendous. There's just a sense of kind of calmness. It was such a positive thing and I had never started that journey expecting to feel so positive at the end of it. It was kind of like one of those things that I wanted to cross off the list and get done. And we're thrilled. We moved our office about a year and a half ago, and uh, Pam, who's my partner for many years, said, don't come in while during the move because you'll just screw it up, and she was right. And I decided to come in on Sunday when she wasn't there, and I went and looked in the office, and I started counting the boxes that were there, and I got to 110 boxes, and I stopped counting because at that point, I was emotionally overwhelmed because what I realized was, in these boxes were files. And in these files were husbands and fathers and mothers and grandmothers. And I didn't know in which one of those files was the person who needed me the most next. And when you think about the enormity of our responsibility to these people, it, it, it absolutely emotionally overwhelm me. I, I had tears streaming down my face to realize if you can have impact on one of those people, uh, there's, there's not much else you could say. That, that's the place you want to be. That's our show for today. I want to remind you that you can read all my online insurance commentary, advisor blogs, and articles on Producers Web, and answers to all my consumer questions that I give to on insurance products at Insurance Library, as well as you can see all our shows at ashbrokerage.com. Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, or email me at steve.savant at ashbrokerage.com. And remember, you could be wiser as an Ash Brokerage advisor. I'm Steve Savant. See you next week. Thank you.